I remember you now. You do? Yes. You once called me shameless and overdramatic. How dare you, sir? That wasn't me! It wasn't? Well, it's your fault for looking like a critic. Your face does look familiar, however. Though it's not as distinctive as mine, of course. It's no use. I just can't please you. It will bother me. But not every story wraps up cleanly, I suppose. Ah, oh, well. My climactic rendezvous with Optimus awaits. Time to bring down the curtain on you. Hello? Are you not listening? This is quality stagecraft, you savage! I know you Cyclone Minicons are free agents, and you choose who you work with. But this guy completely hogs the spotlight. Want a chance to shine on your own? You dare try to hire away my crew while the show is still running? I promise you two, something much more satisfying than listening to this blowhard blather. Blowhard? That's just... You are interrupting my train of thought with that racket. <laughs> you like the noise, don't you guys? There's plenty more pots and pans right over there. Why are you listening to an Autobot? I lead our company. <laughs> Cease! Be gone, you gnat! Security! For so long, I wanted the perfect wrap-up. Where you remember me and I punch your lights out. But you know what? I'll be happy with this. Not the face! Not the face! And scene. Wow. As an expert on punches, I'd say that one was downright grim lucky. Well done, Lieutenant. Actually, I needed some help. Just as you predicted, Strongarm. You were also right about our team. We're gonna be light on stealth and speed, so we're gonna have to come up with more creative ways to win. We'll make you proud, sir. I have no doubt. We'll just need to practice and... Speaking of practice... Stand down, Grim. No need to engage if we don't have to. And as long as those little guys are occupied... That's right, here we go. We'll march right back to the scrapyard and your stasis pods. Come on, everyone, join the band.